Top of the morning to you. This is Brian. Hope you are doing well today. Talking about life. Um, oh, my five pillars. Okay. Let's be truthful. I've been sitting here delaying this morning. I just got a blood draw. And I'm like, I don't have a topic. I don't have a topic. I don't have anything to say. So, April Fool's. Okay, not really April Fool's. Um, one of the things I like, and I've been told by people they like about my top of the morning to you sequence is it's not scripted. It's kind of free. It's kind of natural. It's kind of just what I'm thinking about. I try to come in with a strong idea and share it. And this is funny to say because um, when I'm talking to my kids, I, I don't give them enough time to speak. Um, I have some teaching that I want to shove down their throats and I want to see massive changes happen right away and I never stop talking. So um, coming in with, with nothing is, is interesting. Uh, we did spend the weekend um, celebrating Easter, celebrating Good Friday. I talked about that last. Um, Good Friday night we had a service at the First Presbyterian Church. I'll throw a clip in here right, right here. And let you watch it. Isn't that a cool place? Just look at the stained glass and the amazing, just amazing stuff in that church. So that church has been, I don't know if it's donated, the announcement was it was donated to our church. Um, not only do they have that beautiful sanctuary, uh, they're right downtown in the central hillside of Duluth and They've got a gym, and they've got, I don't know what, I'm looking forward to a tour down there, but the church community there has gotten so small, um, the building has gotten to be too much, is basically it, and they've been approached multiple churches, and our church, I guess one, and are going to be taking that on and naming it the Duluth Dream Center. Uh, ever since I've come back to Duluth in 2019, actually I'm in Hermantown, the suburb of Duluth. We're up here and Duluth is down here and Lake Superior is down here. Um, I've been like, what do we do to revitalize Duluth? What what does it take? And the Duluth Dream Center is kind of an exciting, exciting piece of that. Um, so I love Hermantown. I love the North Woods here. Um, back in the early 1900s, I think Duluth was the largest shipping port in the country above New York City and Chicago and everything just because it's so centrally centrally located um, you can carry a lot of stuff on those thousand foot boats compared to trains and trucks so it was massive and it was huge and big things were happening here big business the port was busy we just sent out our first boat official boat. Um, we had a, a lame summer, winter this year, and the boats seemed like they could move move all the time, but um, they just sent out their first ships heading out in the newspaper recently. So, all that to say, um, happy Easter and happy April Fool's Day. Uh, hope you had a good celebration of Easter with friends and family. We went to see the, the my my father-in-law and uh, spent some time down there um, and just enjoyed sharing and and spending time together um, this is Easter Monday April 1st and I guess the lesson from everything I just said is listen more then you talk. And I'm going to take that to heart as I have conversations with my kids. I, my mission in, in raising kids is to have them be better people than I am. Um, to have them have more, want, want less, um, be more content, and have a better life, have a better world, and make an impact. Um, my, four, my five pillars, life, or God, family, abundant life, technology, and adventure um, kind of reflect that and in, in, in all five of those um, I want to use to make an impact on others I think abundance and impact are, are the key 
um, for me and what I'm seeking and hunting for at this season of my life. Um, going into, I'm doing two things right now. Um, oh shoot, I'm trying to do one thing at a time. There I go again. I'm doing two things right now. Um, I think the YouTube is the one thing. Um, and the YouTube is heading towards coaching and leading masterminds for Christian family leaders. Um, the other thing I'm doing is trying to buy a successful and profitable business um, as a first business to move myself out of the rat race um, of trading hours for dollars. So I've been praying for that. You can pray for that. Um, and I think we'll call it quits right there because I didn't have anything. But come back again and subscribe and share and you be blessed.